We've just processed a transaction where the business borrows $6,000 from the ANZ Bank. And it was a debit to the bank account to show an increase in the asset bank. And it was a credit to the loan account to show an increase in the liability. The value of the debit, $6,000, equals the value of the credit, $6,000. Next transaction is drawings of cash, $3,000. We identify the two accounts that are affected. It's going to be bank and it's going to be drawings. So if we take $3,000 out of the business's bank account, it's going to be reduced. And to reduce an asset, we do a credit. So we put the date in. We write the name of the other account that's affected. We put the value in, which is $3,000. There's the credit. So there must be a debit. So that's debit to drawings. An increase in drawings is shown by a debit. That's one of the double entry accounting rules. We put the date. We write bank and the value, which is $3,000. So the value of the debit, $3,000, equals the value of the credit, $3,000. Bank was credited to reduce the asset and drawings was debited to increase drawings. Next transaction, pay the ANZ loan $500. The two ledger accounts that are affected are the bank and the loan itself. If you pay back $500, then of course that's going to reduce your cash assets. So on the credit side of bank, to reduce the bank asset, to reduce assets, we have a credit entry. We write ANZ loan, and the amount was $500, that's a credit entry. And for every credit there must be a debit, so on the debit side of the loan, I'll put the date, the name of the other ledger account, which is bank, and the amount is $500. So there's the debit to the loan. A debit to a loan account reduces the loan, and a credit to the asset reduces the asset. The value of the credit equals the value of the debit. Next transaction, the owner contributed stock, $9,000 to the business. Okay, so we perhaps we should write control there, just to be fussy. Okay, so stock has gone up. It's an asset. Assets are increased by a debit. So on the debit side of stock control, we're going to write the name of the other account affected by this transaction, which was uh, capital, and we're going to write $9,000. So debit stock, $9,000, and we're going to credit the capital account because the owner has contributed this stock. So the owner's claims on the asset have increased. So it's a credit entry to uh, the capital account, $9,000. So the debit to the asset equals the credit to capital or owner's equity. Double entry accounting rules say to increase an asset, it's a debit. Double entry accounting rules say to increase owner's equity or capital, it's a credit. Come back and see the next section.